What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am really excited because I am doing a first impressions slash swatch review on the brand new Dior Rouge Liquid Lipsticks. Oh my god. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that the Dior Air Flash is literally one of my favorite foundations ever. I think I literally mentioned it in the video before this in my July favorites. I was like... When I discovered this like five years ago, I don't know what happened, but my life changed. That's what happened. I don't even know why I'm mentioning that. I just felt like you guys should know um, that Dior is fucking sick, but sometimes brands have misses, sometimes they have hits, and you know me. We're gonna keep it really gangster today as usual and see if this product is Jeffree Star approved or not. I am very critical when it comes to liquid lips. I have literally tried drugstore all the way to the most expensive liquid lip on the planet on this channel. And you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes the luxury brands come at you and you wanna scream and cry. But I am excited to give you guys the first sneak peek of this product. Now I did reach out to Dior and I said, girl, do you mind if I swatch those on my channel and give them a whirl? And they were like, uh. some brands, I've, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys as always. Some brands have told me, no, I'm sorry. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, when it comes out, I'm gonna buy it and review it anyway. You can't stop me. But I have had brands tell me, if you are iffy about the product or you don't like it, can you just not talk about it? And I'm like, no. That's not how I work. So, um, I really appreciate Dior sending me this collection of liquid lips. I am really excited to talk about them and swatch them. Now, I have been saving this for a few days and I haven't even swatched them on my hands or tried anything yet. So, I'm sitting here like, <gasps> okay, let's dive into it. So, if you want to see me swatch the new Dior liquid lipsticks, then keep on watching. So they come in a gorgeous blue unicarton, a very classic Dior. We all have seen this before on my channel. Now, of course, the shade labels are on top. Now, there is three formulas. There is a rock matte, which is, I guess, fully matte, long-lasting. Then there is an electric metal formula. And then there is a pop satin, which I think is more of like a satin type of lipstick. Of course, we are going to log in and see exactly what is supposed to happen here. So the packaging looks like this, and this component is really classic. Um, it looks very classy Dior, of course, with a little imprint. You can see the color through the window, which I love. So all of them have that. I am going to test out a few of the formulas today. I'm really excited for the metals because, oh my God, girl. We're simply now logical because this is a hologram. It's almost like a lip topper. You can wear it by itself or you can put it over um, other lipsticks to give it like a feel. So this one I am really excited about. And on the website, it says that this one is a multi-dimensional cyber silver that can be worn alone or used as a top coat. And I'm like, ooh, girl, I'm excited for this one. I know a lot of brands really don't do black lipsticks or kind of crazy colors, but not do a girl. We have a matte black lipstick, which a lot of brands do not make this color or it's kind of hard to perfect it. A lot of the times blacks or grays are really chalky and weird. So we're gonna test this formula out today, baby. All right, so I think I'm just gonna dive into the matte colors. Now here's the tea on this one. I'm gonna read you what this formula is supposed to do. Now, now there is 29 colors. You know my mouth cannot take 29. Mm. Oh, well, that's a whole nother video. But 29 lip swatches is insane, so I'm gonna do about 10 for you today and test out the different formulas, and we're gonna see what the hell is going on. So, the formula is supposed to be a very lightweight formula. So it's kind of supposed to be kind of like a lipstick that you really don't feel. Now, it is. it says, laced with featherweight pigments that produce intense, vibrant color that lasts up to 12 hours. Oh my god. Well, that is a long time, so of course this is a long-lasting formula. This is Dior's first liquid lipstick that they've ever produced. Now, there's a lot of shades here, so it says all the way from creamy beige to classic Dior red. The, and it also is a full throttle black in three distinct textures, which of course I already said. So, I mean, let's stop running my mouth and let's get to swatching. All right, so the classic 999 Dior Rouge is a classic red. It is very on the orange base side. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just go for the brightest color first and let's see what the hell happens. Besides that, you guys, I did want to mention a few things about this product. It has 0.20 fluid ounces, which is 6 ml for everyone out there that likes to compare. So this is a Chanel lip gloss. This has 0.19, so it actually has a little bit more. So this is a good amount of product. Now, of course, the price point is $35 for um, all of them individually, which that's a Dior price point. That is not bad. 
But if it doesn't work, then we're gonna see. Now it does have kind of a curved doe foot if you can zoom in right there. And it looks like it should be easy to apply um, on the mouth with that slant. So let's see. Oh, okay. Usually with like bright reds or any oranges, I like to use a liner or I have to be very careful. But for some reason, this glided on super easy. Huh, I'm a little shocked. Let's finish the mouth. Mm, this color though, I'm like, girl, I love a red. So it has been about two minutes. I wanted to see if it was going to completely dry down or what kind of effect we're going to give. First impressions though, I really love the doe foot. I know a lot of you are like, girl, it's just a, a flat wand. I wanna show you something, that it actually has a little divot inside. I'm gonna try to zoom in as much as I can and try to, here, I'll just do this against the backdrop. You see that divot that goes in there? It holds product way more than I think a normal doe foot and it really gave a precise application. Obviously, I didn't use a lip liner, I just went in and it was easy to just kind of paint it on, which is nice because a lot of the time, some wands, I gotta use a lip liner and give extra work and it's annoying now let's feel it okay now there is a tiny bit of transfer so I know you should probably wait a little bit longer for a full dry down so we will do that with another color but it doesn't feel sticky I know it did say it was supposed to feel lightweight it does thank God let's watch the next color I get asked a lot in between takes how do I remove the makeup I honestly just take a makeup wipe and I take my nail you guys and I go like this really sharp and I just go around and I wipe it all off and then if my mouth is ever feeling raw or I have dry skin I go in with a lip scrub almost y'all know I make a lip scrub this one is in flavor orange soda oh girl mm. you just put a little on and exfoliate your mouth all right let's get to swatching Let's just go in for the kill and do the matte black color because that's really what I've been dying to try. This is literally probably darker than my soul. Oh my god, my teeth look so white against this lipstick. Okay, so black lipsticks are hard to make and I gotta give it up for Dior because this is full coverage. Oh, it feels really good too and I just love it. Alright, anyone else ready for Halloween? All right, now next up, I actually wanna try the Hologram Lipstick. This is one of the metallics. It is supposed to be multi-dimensional, and of course, it can be used as a top coat. I definitely wanna try that, so I'm gonna take the wand. It looks something like this. This color is literally just called Hologram, and it looks really sparkly and cute in the bottle. I'm also gonna take a lip brush, because I don't want this to get black transfer on it, and I'm just going to take a bunch out. Bam. Let's see how it looks on top of the black. All right, here is a hologram. I'm only gonna do the bottom lip just so you can see the contrast. It looks really pretty. It's very like intergalactic. It almost looks like um, brushed metal on my mouth. Now I do wanna swatch it really quickly just on my hand so you guys can see what it would look like on normal skin and not black lipstick, of course. So I'm just gonna do a little, ooh. Ooh, okay, I love it. I think this alone would be really cute. It has a lot of reflective properties and there is a glitter in there. So I can't wait to use this in the future. The next shade I'm gonna swatch is called a Vibrant metal it looks so pretty in here look at that reflection but how is it gonna look on my mouth oh my god oh come on pigment all right here is this shade so watched I'm like oh my god it's just so pretty I love a good metallic liquid lip and I'm just gonna let this dry for a second. I wanna see if it feels tacky or any different than the other ones. But so far, it feels really lightweight. Especially for like a metallic, sometimes it can feel a little gritty or weird. But this one is drying nicely and I love how reflective it is. If you're someone that wants a little more of a subtle look, you may not want the metals, but this is sickening. All right, now this shade is called Crush. It is a matte and it looks like a Barbie pink. So of course I gravitated towards it and we're gonna give her a whirl. Okay, this color makes me feel happy. It is really pretty. It is that classic, like, Barbie pink, and I'm living for it. I'm like, okay, video's done. I'm gonna go now. Okay, let's do a nude, you guys. This one is called Chic. It is the, um, one of the matte formulas, and it looks really pretty in here, but how's it gonna look on my whore mouth?
So this color is such an everyday easy nude to wear if you do not like crazy dark colors or brights Definitely get to the nude family. This one is Stunning like there's no if ands or buts about it. All right. My mouth is feeling raw this color Scandalous. Ooh. okay now this looks like to be a bronze Metallic and it looks stunning in the bottle. I'm like, okay girl. Don't fucking play me. Let's see how she looks. So this one is a tiny bit more, um, I guess a little streakier than the other ones. Maybe it is the shade and the metallic. So I'm just adding on a little bit of a second layer and then it's like fully, fully opaque. So this is lit, like the only shade so far that I've had to do two coats on it. I don't really gravitate to metallic browns with this color. It's definitely unique and almost has like a little burgundy undertone to it. And here is Scandalous Swatched. All right, now last but not least, I wanna swatch one of these satin shades for you. And this one looks like a gorgeous type of like watermelon cherry. And this one is called Versailles. Let's see what the satin formula feels like. By the way, you guys, my mouth is raw. It's like, <laughs> but um, the show must continue. All right, so I'm not sure if the satin formula is supposed to dry down completely or if it's just like a satin liquid lip and it kind of comes off. So I'm gonna give it a little two minutes here and I will be right back. All right, so it's been about three to four minutes. Let's do a little finger test. Okay, it definitely came off a lot more than the matte one. So maybe this one is not completely dry down. It does have like a tiny bit of a shine to it. It does say satin. So I'm going to assume that it doesn't completely dry down, but I just want to make sure on the box. It doesn't really, it doesn't say it, but okay. Anyway, I think that I have tried all three formulas and done enough shades to come to my conclusion. I'm sure you could already guess from just my thoughts throughout the video, but the Dior Rouge liquid lipsticks are They are Jeffree Star approved. I am really really happy that Dior killed it with this formula They have been on a roll lately from their highlighters to their foundations to everything I know you guys just saw the Dior forever in my July favorites Girl, I just got a text message. Man, what do you want? It's better be a nude photo. The liquid lipsticks were really great. The formula was pretty much consistent, of course, except the dark brown at the end. Needed two layers. Everything else felt amazing. The formula was on point. And of course, I forgot to do my infamous smell test in the beginning, but I do want to let you guys know that these, if you've ever smelled the Dior lipstick, whether it's a stick lipstick or a gloss, it has a classic, like, it's floral, but with a touch, a little bit of something in there, a little Dior magic, and... <sighs> it's just very fresh. It's nice. It's pleasant. It's not overwhelming like some brands girl um, It's very nice. So overall, I'm really happy with this product. Thank God I was scared because you know lips, you know liquid lipsticks you never know But this brand killed it and I think these are going to come out in the month of August I think it's this week. They're gonna be on Sephora.com or in stores I think if your um, location carries Dior all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching another lip swatch video. Also, if you love lip swatch videos, I do have a playlist here on my channel. Click playlist when you click on my actual um, channel tab, and there is a playlist of just lip swatches from literally every brand on earth. All right, you guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.